In today's video, I'm giving you a full tour of my home on wheels, Odyssey. I got Odyssey just over a year ago and I had zero experience of overlanding, of van life, of van builds, of off-roading. I was really starting from scratch. The whole of the interior was done by my uncle. So he is a carpenter and he helped me build everything that you see inside. And the concept is pretty simple. I mean, on this side, this is the sleeping space. On the other side is the kitchen space. All around is storage and that's kind of it. So this here is the mattress and then the half of the bed. And you may have seen me in other videos, the way that this part extends over here and kind of like blocks this passageway. And then I take this mattress and I put it down here. So what I basically get is like a decent sized bed. Hey little guy, what do you think about Odyssey, Vilk? Vilk, what do you think about Odyssey? Huh? She's all right, I guess. <laughs> Okay, my kitchen setup. So I've got this cupboard here, which kind of opens up and then you can, I can kind of just keep it open uh, with a little latch. And all my cutlery and all my, you know, plates and things like that is right there. And then in terms of where I store my food, well, that's kind of split between a couple of storage boxes and a cooler. I don't have a fridge. But when I cook, I don't cook on the inside. I usually cook out here at this little table, which is like one of my favorite things about the entire build. And this table, we did not make ourselves. This table is from Front Runner. The awesome thing about this table is that it extends this way as well. So you've got a chopping board here, as well as a proper kind of cooking space here. As it turns out, water is a super, super important component of overlanding. The water just goes in here. So I just open this up, stuff a hose in, pour water in and the water just kind of goes down via a system of pipes into the water tank and then over here is the tap oh, oh we have water but that's just water for cooking and washing this is my drinking water setup which is awesome so i've got a bracket here also from front runner and this water filtration system basically water purification tank from Lifesaver. It's amazing. In terms of storage, I've got plenty of storage here, but I've got <laughs> way too much stuff that I'm carrying around everywhere. This cupboard right here is for things like um, some clothes and some toiletries. This one right here has my socks and underwear and things like that. This one is all my electronics. And this here is a new addition, some more storage. This is usually the space that I reserve for my power station and some other random junk. Let me show you how Vilk is going to ride in the car. So this is the current setup of the passenger seat. So my Airbnb host very kindly made me this wooden platform with a little pillow um, where he can kind of just, you know, lay on top of this. And here is a little seat belt. But depending on his mood, um, he doesn't always love sitting in here. Sometimes he prefers to be in the back. So we built another kind of like safety system for him um, so that he can be in the back safely. And let me show you, there it is. So there's a hook right here, which has been drilled into the structure of the build itself. So it's super stable and it doesn't really move around. We've tested it a bunch of times and with a carabiner attached to it and then like a short leash, um, this is a pretty good solution for when Vuk doesn't want to sit in the front and he'd rather be in the back, comfortable, laying down, taking a nap or whatever. Moving to the top. So there's a whole bunch of things going on here. So there's a roof rack, there is a rooftop tent and there's a couple of storage boxes, a fuel tank for extra fuel and that solar panel. But let's open up the rooftop tent. So I've really, really loved sleeping in the rooftop tent over the last year. It's been like hands down my favorite spot to sleep in in the car rather than inside because you're so high off the ground. You've always got a beautiful view. It's spacious. It's great. But now that I have a puppy, the situation has changed a little bit. So I will be getting this entire part converted, which is quite exciting. You'll see probably next month. You can invest as much money or as little money as you want into your rig converting it into the most magical car in the world or just a simple setup where you have a mattress and some kitchen supplies either way the most important thing is the adventure of it what you do with it because you could spend years working on a car and never take it anywhere or you could just 
throw in a couple of bits and pieces, the absolute essentials to survive and go on the most incredible adventure. For more adventures from around the world, make sure you like my page on Facebook. See you in the next episode.